what is happening what is going on welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel so hopefully this video is going to teach you a little bit more about the sky texture in blender it's it's a great way to light your scene if you don't want to use h2ri and yeah it's just a quick way to light your scene and it's actually really easy to use and it can come in handy so let's jump into it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go shift a mesh plane s let's scale it up and then go tab and then right click subdivide i'm just going to put some grass here make it 50 okay then go tab again just got a proportional editing i'm just going to click here g bring this up make it a bit bigger pretty big something like that g something like that g something like that then there boom just so that we can yeah that looks good right okay now i'm just going to put grass on here so I click there it's not really part of the tutorial but yeah we just want to be able to see things a bit better so I click there and i'm just going to add some grass so boom grass and let's go with some flowers okay that looks nice Okay, now if I go in here, I make this completely dark, you can't really see anything. So now, let me show you how to add it. So the quickest way to add the sky texture is just to go here to your world. Click here on the color and look for sky texture. So right here, boom, and now it adds the sky texture in. And I would suggest leave it on the sheeter and then the sun disk. You can see there that just makes your shadows it just gives you a bit more shadows and then your sun size is literally how big your sun is so if i go here makes it really big or it makes it small okay leave it like something like that your sun intensity pretty straightforward it's high intensity sun is so you can see there if i bring it all the way down it's not intense if I bring it all the way up. It's super intense. Okay, so you want to go to it about one, and then your elevation, your sun elevation is basically how high and how low your sun is. So if you bring it up, you're bringing it higher. If you're bringing it down, you're making it lower. You see what I mean? So you can see there. You want like a nice sunset kind of scene look how nice that looks now now you got like that golden hour look and that's basically your elevation is how high the sun is same as basically throughout the day it gets bigger it gets higher and then it obviously after midday it becomes lower it starts to go down and that's basically it and then your sun rotation is basically just moving around like that so like that so if i see here look here i've got the sun there if i do this rotating it like that okay so it's rotating it around the altitude i don't really play around with it doesn't really make much of a difference so i don't really play around with it the air you can see here if i bring it in if i bring it down you can see now gives you that kind of look so it makes the air like this if i bring it up okay so if you want like a nice blue hour you can play with your air to get something like that if you want it to be a bit more golden then yeah you can bring your sun elevation up sun elevation down and then the air and you want to get something like that dust basically self-explanatory it adds dust and then your ozone and then the ozone will control your sun how cool it is how warm it is so you can see there and then your strength same thing you can bring it down something like that same as like when you're using the hdri so you can dial in something like that and that is basically how to use the sun you can see how easy it is it's really it's really really simple and to help you add scenes you know you got add-ons like the physical 
atmosphere in Starlight, and yeah, I can make a video on that. It's a bit more in depth, but it's pretty much, to be honest, it's pretty much the same. Just with more controls, you can like add night intensity, you can add stars, you can add clouds, you can do all those kind of things with this add on, but you got to pay for it. I use it, but sometimes I'll just use the sun, the sky texture works perfectly well and yeah hopefully you learn something hopefully you'll use it a bit more you won't be afraid to play around with the sky texture and yeah sometimes it's better than using the hdri you can just light your scene easily just using the sky texture you know if you don't need cloud you don't need too much detail or that kind of stuff in the sky then this is a great way to add your lighting in blender and it looks quite nice it looks realistic and yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe check out blender kits link in the description check out my patreon supports me in the channel but yeah appreciate the support in the channel so far it's been it's been incredible uh, it means more than you realize so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button like it and yeah see you in the next video peace